Ben and Sarah, a lawyer for these cadets say they were let go with very little notice and did not get any travel arrangements or money. But the academy, on the other hand, says none of that is true. The cadets knew about the vaccine mandate since last year. In August of 2021, an order was issued that all military personnel were to be vaccinated and the Coast Guard Academy was no exception. According to Commander Kristen Pecora, 15 cadets then filed applications for religious or medical waivers. Their requests were all denied. Four cadets chose to resign, four chose to get vaccinated after all, and then the seven who the Academy says failed to get the vaccination. The Coast Guard ha has determined that the COVID-19 uh, vaccine is part of our medical readiness practices. And so it's important to, for uh, Coast Guard members to be medically ready so that we are ready to answer all missions. Three months ago, the seven cadets were informed of their violations and gave them 10 extra days to get vaccinated. When they did not, they were then notified of their disenrollment and was given the chance to appeal. But their appeal was denied on August 15th, and the cadets left four days later. The cadets were uh, departed. They were given uh, a week's notice upon about their disenrollment. They were not enrolled in any academic courses, so there was no purpose for them to be here. Commander Bacora says the academy helped set up the cadets' travel arrangements and paid for their temporary housing. But Michael Rose, a lawyer for the seven cadets, say the academy never did any of that. One of them is living with another cadet temporarily. One is living in his truck. Rose added a cadet told him he was threatened by the academy to fill out the paperwork to leave. There is zero reason to require him to leave with only 48 hours notice. They have to sell their computer equipment and their personal possessions in order to generate the cash to go home. Now, the commander also added the seven cadets did receive all of their other mandatory vaccinations and that they just didn't want to get specifically the COVID-19 vaccine. Their disenrollment is still currently being processed. I'm live in New London, Carmen Chow, Fox 61 News.